What's up, you guys? Dan the Beast 94 here, coming back at you with Q and A's with Dan the Beast 94. Yes, it is Friday. Happy Friday, guys! And um, every question video that I guys post, I ask you guys if you guys want to ask me questions, leave it in the comment section below for that Q and A video, so that way I can answer it the following week. So if you guys ask me questions in last week's uh, Q and A, I would answer them today. Which, I have three questions for you guys today. Um, they all come from my uh, good homie Francis. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I just woke up. I uh, just got ready for work. Um, figured I'd do this video before I head out. So, um, my buddy Francis. Um, I met him a few years ago. Um, I actually knew him from a, uh, a Northeast Wrestling event. We, you know... Then we'll know that we ran into each other till we actually talked to each other. Um, I believe it was at the Bristol event uh, about three years ago. So I've been friends with this guy for about three years. So uh, thank you for the support, homie. And uh, let me answer my questions for uh, your questions. All right. So the first question he asked, he was like, what would be your ideal idea of a wrestler, both male and female? Well... There's always been times where I thought about <clears throat> becoming a wrestler myself and like what would I use for names, um, you know, my signature, my gimmick, you know, but um, from a male perspective, um, if I had a name for myself, for like a male uh, wrestler, like an ideal male wrestler, I guess you would say, um, just somebody who just goes over the limit you know you had guys back in the day like jeff hardy who was taking like all these risks and taking all these bumps um he just catapulted himself to the top and um i think that would be like my ideal for like a male wrestler but if i had a name for myself you know i've always came up with names for myself but if i actually came up for a name for a male wrestler maybe for myself for example i would probably call myself uh, Dash Daniels, uh, I don't know where I came up with the name, um, I guess it was probably like a mix of just like my name, and then, uh, I'm a big fan of the Incredibles movies, so, maybe I'd have some like tights, with like, maybe like the lightning bolt, s similar to like the Flash, or if you guys ever seen that movie Flash Gordon, um, Flash Gordon has the, uh, the Queen soundtrack, um, if you also seen, uh, Ted, you guys would know who I'm talking about, but maybe like some tights with like a lightning bolt or something like that. Something with like my name, uh, kind of like a gimmick, um, parody to like Flash Gordon with my name going across. And, uh, if I had a finisher, I, and I haven't really come up with like a finisher finisher, but I do have a name. Um, if I had a name for it, probably, uh, the, uh, the digital dash. It'd probably be like a running strike maneuver or a running grapple maneuver. I'm not really sure yet. And uh, that, that'd probably be like my ideal for like a female too. Um, may, maybe like a tag team. Nothing like 2K20. Nothing like WWE 2K20 because that game sucks. Okay? Bring it back. No, 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 no. Better yet, throw it in the trash. Uh, burn it. Make a bonfire tonight. Please. That game's horrible, and I really hope 2K doesn't continue with this series. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll get, like, THU, uh, THQ again. You know, get some, like, classic installments going on. Like, how they did back in the day with, like, uh, Here Comes the Pain and uh, Shut Your Mouth, which is my favorite PS2 game. Uh, but let's move on to his next question. His next question was... Uh, Thoughts on Nyla Rose becoming AEW Women's Champion and what AEW should do to strengthen the women's division. I have nothing against transgender people. Um, I think Nyla um, becoming AEW Women's Champion um, may have been a little bit controversial for some. But I think it's okay. You know, I'm not sitting there bragging. I'm not sitting here bashing her, him, you know. <laughs> Um, she's one hell of an athlete, and, um, AEW's definitely given her, um, 
that moment to rise to the occasion, you know, especially with these, uh, I wouldn't really necessarily call them Wednesday Night Wars, but, um, you know, the battle between AEW and NXT for uh, rating supremacy. But um, I believe she's the first um, inter uh, transgender woman to ever hold uh, a championship. And, uh, you know, I don't want to count, count it as like a male holding a female championship because god forbid look at eric young winning one half of the tna knockout tag team titles that was just comical but you know this is like a real life situation when it comes to somebody dictating their life and making their decision on what they want to do so with nyla rose winning that women's championship big props to her who knows how long um she'll hold it i know val venus bashed her and cody defended her so you know gotta have respect for people like that you know because it's what it's their decision on what they want to do with their life you only get one and uh his other question he said what should i do uh what should they do to strengthen the women's division um just bring back like gimmick matches that we haven't seen in a long time uh for example like in the attitude area era and ruthless aggression you had uh like bra and panties matches, you know, pillow fights, and, you know, maybe, like, showcasing their bodies in a bikini contest. That would definitely bring up the ratings for AEW, uh, especially with the woman they have. Um, Britt Baker. Wink. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I, th that would definitely be something to uh, transcend their ratings just a little bit. Um, just bring on some gimmick matches. Um, maybe even have a woman's main event. I mean, WWE's been doing it. TNA did it with, uh, Tessa, uh, Tessa Blanchard. Now she's Impact World Champion. Um, but, you know, just bring back some of the good old woman, uh, gimmick matches. Bikini contests, the bra and panties. Um, I think that would definitely boost up their ratings. Just, just a tad bit. And uh, his last question for me, he asked, uh, do you think the XFL will be better this time around? I mean, it's kind of hard to call. I mean, I do like the New York Guardians. I'll say it that much. But uh, Vince had already put a, a huge amount of his stock um, into getting this company back rolling. Even though the company's been dead for almost... About 20 years. Um, to get more football, you know, football, I mean, we only get football for like four or five months. So I think with XFL coming around, um, I want to say do battle with F uh, NFL and Fox. But maybe after the NFL is done, so like after Super Bowl, maybe pick back up with like XFL. Because XFL is more... Um, it's kind of more stadium, um, how would I say this? Like arena football, I guess you would say. Um, but I don't mind it. I mean, do I think it'll last? I mean, maybe. I mean, it's kind of hard to call at this point, because, like, a lot of people did like XFL when it did come out. But, like, so far, you only got eight teams. So, they definitely do need to expand when it comes to having, like, an official... Um, um, like official teams, like, you know, making this official, like, but what, what are they going for? I mean, you don't really hear anything about, oh, two XFL teams that has the best record will go on to, you know, the granddaddy of them all, because God forbid Vince comes out and be like, oh, WrestleMania match, this XFL team versus this XFL team, you know? And plus, you've got a lot of guys, like ex-NFL players, that are trying to um, negotiate deals with this organization. I know Colin uh, Kaepernick was trying to get in there, but I guess that really didn't uh, meet his requirements, I guess you would say. Um, but whatever. Um, we'll see where it goes. You know, I, I support it. But anyway, guys, those were my three questions. For Q&A Friday, 
if you guys have any questions that you guys want me to answer for next week, leave those comments in the comment section down below for this video only. And as always, hit that like button, comment, hit that subscribe button. And as always, Dan the Beast 94 Until next time, signing off.